topic for convention 2023 is why FFL will hit a billion dollars in 23. My subtopic, who is the one for the battle is the Lord's. I'm going to read to you a story you may know very well. And then David said to the Philistine, you come against me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin. But I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals, and the whole world will know that there's a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know that it's not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into my hands. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly to the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it, struck the Philistine on the forehead, the stone sank into his forehead, and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. David ran and stood over him. He took hold of the Philistine's sword, drew it from the sheath. After he killed him, he cut off his head with the sword. When the Philistines saw that, they ran. The battle's the Lord's. When I think about this story of David and Goliath, I know that I'm coming for somebody today. I'm coming for you today. Because when you think about this story in its totality, you got the shepherd boy who tended to sheep who makes his way down to this battlefield with this nine-foot giant who's, who's got Saul's army shook. Nobody wants to even approach this dude. And he's popping off at the mouth. And he's just got, he's got soldiers shaking. And then David comes to the battlefield like, yo, what's up? What's, what's going on here? And he addresses Saul and his army, and he says, look, I'll take them on. I'll battle them. And you know, when I think about that, and I think about my life, and I think about the giants that we all face, the giants that I face, I remember being, going back 12 years or so, facing this giant called life. And really just being afraid of it. You know, it's like this big world and there's all these avenues in which you can go and there's so many things that you can see and how am I gonna get there? How am I gonna conquer it? Do I have the knowledge? Am I smart enough? Can I execute? How many people came here today with a couple giants that they want to slay today? You know, when we talk about giants, every one of y'all are not facing, me, per se, Goliath. But you know you walked in here with some giants. And when I think about David, not only did he, not only did he say, what's up, L let's do this thing, he charged. He ran after the giant. So, why is Family First Life going to hit a billion dollars this year? Because of you. Because of every single one of you. And the mandate today is that we need to face our giants. So here's what I want you to do, real quick. I want you to look at your neighbor. And I want you to say to them, I believe in you. Look at the other neighbor and say, I believe in you. This is a phrase 
that not a lot of people hear in their entire lifetime. So now you just heard it twice in 10 seconds. And I'll say it back to you. I believe in all of you. Can we be real for a second? More people came in here with a dark moment, a dark spot in life, than they came in on cloud nine. More people are facing something bigger and their circumstance is bigger than what they can handle. The good news is this. We serve a God that's bigger than your circumstance and he can obliterate your circumstance any single day, every minute, every hour. All you have to do is surrender it all. And when we think about this billion dollar giant, this giant, this, this billion dollars came from a vision. It came from belief. It came from 10 years ago. Shawn Mike stepping out on faith and saying, I'm gonna take on the insurance and the giant called the insurance industry. How many people are grateful that someone had the stones to go out there, run and attack that giant and be in a position we're in today? It's amazing. It wasn't an easy battle. I don't know if we quite won the battle with a slingshot and a stone. I'd like to believe that. But it took grit. It took grind. It, could, it took going back and going back and facing humility and facing embarrassment and continuing to get knocked down. But the thing is, what did we do? We just kept fighting. And you have that spirit in you. You have a fighter spirit in you that needs to come out today in Miami at annual convention so that when you go home, you're knocking stuff on his tail. So my question is, who's the one? Who's the one? A lot of dudes standing around in their armor, shaking in their armor. They're shook. All I need is one. All I need is one that is interested in taking on their giant, slaying that bad boy, going to get the victory. I only need one. Who am I talking to? Who's my person? Eleven years ago, if we were in Lone Depot, per se, Robin and I walked through those doors facing many, many giants. Like, many, many giants. And we were scared. And we were wide-eyed. And we were praying to God that 50% of the stuff that those people on stage were talking about was true. That's it. We were just praying to God that 50% was true. So some of y'all are going to have to lay down the gauntlet and go to battle for your dreams. Some of you are gonna have to get sick and tired of being sick and tired and slay these giants. I don't know about you, but I ain't waiting for my giants to come slay me. I'm running towards them. I'm running at them with a slingshot and a stone. I'm going after the giant. We're gonna slay the giant. I'm gonna kill the giant. And guess what? When it's all said and done, I'm gonna stand over the giant. I'm gonna take the giant's sword out of its sheath. I'm gonna slice its head off. And I'm going to hold it over it, and we're going to get the victory! A billion dollars in 2023! Let's go! Let's go!